Hello traders, this is Mike Billion. Today is April 13, 2016, and let's talk about the market. Let's start with the spider. The spider, as you can see here, it finally make a move right here after it moved sideways for many, many days after a nice bounce from the Fibonacci 182. Now, price is inside this whole mess, 2015 mess, and you can see here we trade sideways for a whole year in 2015 so we are back to that range between 212 and 203 the question is are we going to test that 212 because the last time we couldn't test that 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 212 fibonacci we just break down very horrible i think based on the low adx and the the way the directionals are moving on dmi and volume we're gonna go there and then we have to see what's gonna happen I think we're gonna go there to 212 uh, I'm thinking about getting loan on the spider today I start two new positions I was not trading for a whole month and a half I was just watching because there was nothing to trade I tried many positions uh, small positions but it were not it was not working because it was sideways and I'm an auction trader so I don't like that so now today we have this move and I'm thinking that this is going to be a nice move right here but I need to see a confirmation tomorrow about today's high. So that's what I'm going to be watching tomorrow. The volume was okay today. It was the, the spider trade 96 millions. I wanted to see something about 110 millions. I wanted to see good or better volume and I want to see a confirmation, a confirmation about today's high. So let's see what happens. Now I'm going to show you the, the iShares Russell's, which is the IWM, because it has a very interesting pattern. You can see here, this trend line is right at the Fibonacci and this trend line resistant 112. Very important that you put this chart on your watch list, because if tomorrow there is a breakout right here, based on DMI, which is very low, and ADX, we can have a nice move and this one can be a nice trade if you enter on this breakout. So today you can see here price breakout the Fibonacci one, uh, 112 but it needs confirmation and I want price to take out this resistance. So let's see what happens um, tomorrow. I think we're going to go up from here but we can also fail and move down very nasty. So that's something that you have to be very open mind you know if it fails you go short if it break out you go long as simple as that now let's talk about another one let's talk about Apple Apple had a nice price action here and I'm gonna show you some of my watch list I just watch him because I wanted to enter Apple it has the same pattern as the IWM but this one break out today and he break out with good volume. It was 33 millions. He usually trade between 30 millions to 35 millions, which is I that's what I wanted to see. A good volume, and ADX is high, and meaning there is a lot of good money buying Apple right here. So your entry tomorrow should be about today's high, 112.34. If it confirms the breakout, this thing is gonna move very nicely. There is some resisting at 114.55. But this thing can move very nicely from here. Report is coming. It's going to be in April 25th. So that's going to be 12 days from here or two weeks from here. So we might get a nice run from here, probably to 120 or 125. So let's see what happens if tomorrow confirms. Amazon. Amazon right here break out this uh, range. It was trading um, for many days. Let me see if it's, I can zoom this out for you. Right here. So it break out this uh, range. It was 605, my entry. I Yesterday I, I shared this with, my, with the subscribers. The 605 was the, the number to enter. Many of them entered yes, uh, today. And you can see here we need confirmation. So you can use this 605 as your stop loss. That's the number you need to watch for your stop loss. So if it confirms tomorrow about today's high, 617, we're going to have a nice move. And you have to watch 605 for your stop loss because if we break down below 605, 
we can go back to 585 and probably break down because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be no happy and they're going to be selling. So be careful with that. So always have an entry, an exit, and a stop loss, and always be careful and follow your plan. Now let's talk about Seljim. Seljim is another one that I have in, in, in my watch list. It's not ready yet, but you need to put this one in your watch list. That's the way you make money, swing trader. You put in, uh, you put in something, you follow it, you, you see what's going on, you look for a pattern, like this is a nice pattern, this is an ascending triangle wedge, and wait for the breakout. Wait for the breakout. That's how you make money. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. I wanted to see a breakout of this resistance so we can go long. But if we break down below 94, I will say this thing is going to go to 60s. But for now, it looks like it's, it's, it, wants, it has some momentum. I see some volume today. The volume was 4 million and usually trade between 5 to 7 million when it has good volume. So it's getting there. So put this one in your watch list. Now, another one that I love, Baba. Baba, break out this resistance, move sideways, and if the volume today is telling me that this thing is ready to move. The volume was 14 millions, it usually trade between 10 to 12 millions. It was a great volume, and I wanted to see if we break out the 80s. There's a lot of resistance at the 80s, but based on the volume, I went long today on Baba. My stop loss is the 20 simple moving average. Because it has been holding, even when it, when it break out right here, it was holding the 20 simple moving average, which is 77. Very easy. You enter here, 77 is your stop loss. You wait until break out the 80s. The next, the next um, target is 83. And then from there, 89 or 97. That's, those are the numbers you need to watch. I think it's going to move high because ADX is at 25 and the bulls are in control. Now let's talk about another one. Let's talk about this 